So last year I dropped out of high school around 14 months before everyone else will graduate. And ever since I stopped associating myself with certain activities, there are certain people that I just haven't talked to ever since I was at school. Of course, there's natural transitions in life where you go through something or you leave school and then you just never see them again. But imagine having all of your friends never talking to you again because you have a new focus and a new vision in life. You'll never be able to 100% predict whether someone will stay in your life or not. But with these three things, if they do any of these, they're probably not your friend. And just because someone left your life does not mean that they were fake or they aren't your friend. Number one is how many situations do you guys hang out with each other in? Picture this. You have a friend and you only talk to him at school. You only hang out at lunch and it doesn't go further than that. Odds are when you guys are done with school and you guys have left school, you probably won't ever see each other ever again. And that's normal. But let's say you go and do degenerate shit with this friend, with a certain friend. You only go out together, drink together, play video games together. Once one of you guys goes on to a dopamine detox of some sort or gets onto self-improvement, you'll realize that they weren't even your friend all along. You guys were just friends with the substance you take together. But pretty much the more situations you guys hang out with each other in, the more likely that they are actually one of your boys. So let's say you guys work out together, go to school together, maybe even play video games together. Just do a bunch of things. The more things, the more different things you guys do with each other, the more likely that they're actually a real friend. Second is how do they approach your goals? Not their goals, your goals. So let's say you started going to the gym and a few of your friends are just taking the absolute piss out of you. You might actually think they're shit talking you, but they're just going like, Ur, protein, Ur. you need to keep in mind what is actually the difference between shit talking and taking the piss out of you. The way to do this is to see the intentions behind it and if they talk to other people in that manner. So let's say you are going to the gym, same situation, but they are shit talking you going to the gym trying to improve yourself to other people. That is shit talking. Or if they say, oh, you have twig legs, you're still fat as fuck, bro. They're not your friends. If they do not support your goals and ambitions, then... Why are they even around you? Number three is if they ever go after someone's ex. Okay, so of course, nearly every single girl has an ex around. But let's say you are in a friend group. Just a bunch of dudes and one of the guys there has an ex. And then you notice another dude in your friend group go after that same girl. That guy's ex. That dude is a snake. This is really basic bro code, but unless they were like nine years old and they dated for two weeks, that dude is a snake and you cannot trust someone like that. The reason why this is someone that you should stay away from is because they aren't abundant. They have a scarcity mindset. They will willingly sacrifice you for what they don't have in life. They're the type of dudes to put you down to make themselves seem funny. Stay the fuck away from these type of people. My name is Kate Andrews. I teach young men self-improvement. If you like what I do, click the sub button and the notification bell. And I have a Discord in the description that I'm trying to grow. Don't do us easy. Do us right. Peace.